Hang on. My headset's not supposed to do that, but um, that that's the situation we're in right now. But I can't break this. Like I have to be really careful when I do this because if I break it, I don't have another one with me. That means I wouldn't be able to ride later, and we really, really don't want that. It's beautiful. It's hot outside. I'm trying to ride. So let's not break that. Well, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that good either. But we we can fix this. I I accidentally pulled like this little seal up. I mean, I guess we could run. Or, okay, we're running with no seal. As always, shouts out to the boys here at Allen's for letting me come in and make a slight mess to build my scooter. All right, so now it's time to cruise over to the park. I want to go over to somewhere today and see if we can get a few tricks in. I don't know if it's going to be busy or not, but eh, hopefully not. So on my way over here, I had to stop because um, obviously a lot of you guys know that I, I use GoPros a lot, but in the past like mm, like month and a half or two months, I haven't been able to because I broke my other one that was supposed to be waterproof, but it was not. So. We went out and got the new GoPro Hero 8. It's not charged right now, but I have a whole bunch of other batteries that fit in this one from my GoPro 7, which are in the bag. So let's get into the park and try this thing out because I miss doing GoPro stuff. Don't you miss watching it? Okay, so I'm out here at the skate park. Um, I have the GoPro in my hand, but I'm just gonna let you guys know, I usually have like this windscreen thing that I use so it doesn't, it's not super windy. So I'm gonna try it without, see if it works. If it doesn't, Oh well. And then I'm gonna try to put the other windscreen thing on, but it's for the previous GoPro, so it doesn't really fit that well. So it might screw up the image. We'll just we'll just try this out. Okay, so leave it to like Elsinore for it to be like super freaking windy today, but cruising the ball. Let's get a quick uh lip and it tuck me. I have no idea how this sounds right now either. Hopefully it sounds good, because it'd be nice to be able to use this thing without the windscreen. Oh god, I landed flat. Uh, oh, okay, that's enough of that. So let's try another line really quick without the windscreen and see how we're looking. Something on the quarter, kind of do a grind around this, come through this, and then launch over. Oh, golly, you want me to? I'll try, dude. All right, so Steph wants us to drop in. Uh, he wants us to do a little something on here. Now we hit this lip. Now we have to get, I'm just getting feeble. Oh, no, the, oh, I screwed up on the feeble, dude. I'll hit the gap for you anyway. All right, see if we can get the gap first go today. Alright, I got some pop on that one and scared the crap out of me. Alright, so let's see if those clips sound good or terrible. The verdict is, what did I just say? The verdict is in. They're pretty bad. But on a brighter note, my scooter is riding really, really well. New scoot. As you guys know, we got the Lambos on, my deck, Union Bars, thing is cruising right now. This is the current setup. We have a couple zip ties around it so that the actual fluffy part doesn't get into the clip. So this, I'm hoping works. So we have the screen on now. Let's see how we're, we're, we're what? Sounding. <laughs> All right, so we're in the vault. Let's get a quick lip again and downside triple straight into, oh God, a weird look back. People on the deep end. And let's hit the little, let's not go to flat. Oh, I still did. Flare. I'm hoping that sounds better. It's funny because I've done this like a million times, just not with this model, and I wanna make sure it doesn't sell like crap for you guys. Let's see if we can get the gap again. All right, well, this gap is super weird to do. It's like that pocket, it kind of throws you at a weird angle sometimes, and sometimes you don't hit it right, but let's see if we can get a bar over it. If I can do it first try, I'll be happy. All right, drop it in, let's get it. Whoa! All right, first go. Nice one. Thanks. All right, guys, Steph's dropping in. The rock fakie. I don't understand that trick. I never have. Ow! Let's go. Thank you. So I was riding my scooter here the other day. A couple of homies showed up, and one of them told me to whip bar twist, and I tried it. But let's try it again right now. See if we can get it. Oh, first go. That's two tricks I don't do very often: single tail whips and bar twists. Let's try to get a heel thing rewind on the gap. 
And after that, I'd like to get like a half cab something on the A-frame over there. Of course, gotta get my gloves on. If you guys wanna get a pair of these gloves, just go to www.remawarner.com and you guys can get yours now. We also have the new ones coming out, which you can find right here on your screen. I'm actually really, really excited about the new ones to come and a lot of you guys seem to like them. So let me know in the comments below if you like those or if you like these ones more. But anyways, let's get that finger up rewind. All right, so on the way there, let's get a quick triple and we'll pump around this corner. This is a weird one for you, boy, but we're gonna see what happens. Oh, never mind. The helmet was in the middle. Let's try again. All right, so instead of the triple, we'll get a quad this time. All right, so a quad. Now we'll get that finger whip rewind and be happy. Oh, and a half cab too? All right, I'll take it. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh. As you guys can see, my grip tape's getting a little dirty and this thing's fresh, so we're gonna try to keep it clean. And uh, Stefan, let us use his little grip tape cleaner thing. Ooh, she's coming back to life. Here she comes. Boom, there we go. These things are really, really cool. I should I should make a video on one of these things. They're really convenient. I like how I was doing that in the dirt, so as soon as I stand on my grip tape, it's gonna be a wrap. All right, so let's get another line in the ball. We'll do uh, the big gap, we'll cruise around, we'll hit the gap to lip again. We'll do downside double throw bar, grind, grind, come around and flip bar. All right, let's give her a go. Gaps first. Hit that one a little low and I didn't go high enough, so let's try again. Hopefully we get it second go. Whoa, I almost died. I'm in this line for you right now. All right, get it. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Third time's a charm, right? Is this the third time? <laughs> All right, got that. Oh, yeah, get this. Nice, All right, now we gotta get down. Gotta get the flip bar. Oh, it's a freaking flat. That line worked out. I'm happy it did. Let's go back to the house. I'm gonna compare the footage really quick and see what this GoPro looks like compared to the old one. Okay, so I'm back over here at my house right now and um, I've, I've watched a lot of the footage and uh, I've done a lot of GoPro footage on this channel thus far. To be 100% honest with you guys, the GoPro Hero 8 as opposed to the last one that I was using, which was the 7, is not really that much better. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little bit smoother, I guess, but everything else is literally identical. I think at the end of the day, I, I paid like 320 bucks for this. So it is on sale right now, which is cool. But there's a few things about it I really don't like. First of all, I don't really know how I feel about uh, these like fold, fold down um, leg things. It's not that they don't work well or anything like that. I'm just worried that I'm gonna break it. Uh, granted, if I were to break them on the last thing, I would have to get a new case or whatever. I, I don't know what the price of these, actually I should check that. So these little pieces right here, it says um, it, uh, they're 20 bucks, which is, that's pretty expensive for just like two little feet that fold down. I can buy obviously a, a much cheaper case if I wanted to. I think the cases were like, I, th I think I was able to get them for like $10 for an entire case. And they kind of, I don't know, like they move around, it's just kind of weird. I don't think it's uh, something I'm really crazy about right now. But that's not like a huge deal. That's, that's not a massive thing to where it would keep me from buying this camera because it is good. It's a good camera. Let's, let's clarify on that. This is a good camera. It's not a piece of crap. Another thing I really, really don't like, this is probably the biggest thing about the camera I don't like, um, is the fact that the, the actual glass, like the fisheye, the lens, is not replaceable. Therefore, if you crack this glass right here, if you break the lens, that means you have to buy an entire new GoPro. Or if you have um, like the insurance plan or something like that, then you could get a free GoPro or whatever it is, like 50 bucks for a fresh one. But either way, that's still kind of annoying. On every GoPro before the eight, one through seven, you were able to actually replace that, that piece of glass. You were able to replace that lens if you broke it which these are action cameras. So these things, they fall all the time. They're gonna fall, they're gonna hit, they're gonna hit the floor face down, they're gonna fall out of people's cars, they're gonna fall off of mounts that are mounted on some ridiculous things because these are action cameras. So for there not to be an actual replacement for something that's the most important part, I would think, of the entire camera. Like if you break the screen, bummer. Like you broke the screen, but the actual camera still works. You can still film, you can still take photos, things like that. You won't be able to see your image after or before, but 
For me, for example, I just mount the camera to my head and go. I don't ever see the footage, ever, until I put it on the computer and put it in the video for you guys. But if you break the lens, if you break this lens, it's a wrap. That, that footage is gonna look like crap no matter what. You, whether you can see the footage before or not, it's gonna look terrible. Even if you do something minor, like if you scratch this, that's a bummer, like that'll, that'd piss me off. My GoPro 7, I can just throw it in my bag, no problem. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it getting super, super scratched up because I know I can replace the glass on the front for probably like 20 or 30 bucks. But now I have to put this thing in a case in order to make sure that the image um, that's portrayed on the screen is clean. There's no scratches on the lens or anything like that, which again, it's, it's something that's kind of, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's, I'm just kind of complaining about something that's really small, but I think of GoPros as an on the go kind of tool. Like you throw it in your bag and when you need it, you can take it out, cool. Like it's a quick shot, boom, you're recording and you can go on your way, get the clip and then leave or whatever. Throw it back in your bag. Whatever it is that you do, it's an action camera. I've never necessarily wanted to throw this in a case and make sure everything was pretty on it because it's, I'm gonna drop it, it's gonna get banged up. It's not my GH5, it's not like my really, really expensive lenses. So to be honest, I don't really take care of this thing really at all. That makes me sound ridiculous, but it's true. And it's because it's in harm's way pretty much every time I use it or when I'm even not using it. So if you guys are thinking about getting a GoPro, but you don't want to spend the, I think it's 30 extra dollars for the GoPro 8, just get a 7. It's, it's just as good. It's a great camera. I used mine for a long time. Granted, I did go into the pool and it destroyed it, but it was really, really old. It got banged up. Like I said, it smacked the floor f quite a few times. So I'm sure the seals on it um, were kind of uh, worn anyway. So that's probably why the water got in there and it just wasn't a good situation. But this one is brand new, so I can take it into the water. But if you get a brand new seven, you can take it into the water probably just as deep as this. Again, I do want to stress the fact that this is not a bad camera. This is actually a really, really good camera. It's still a great, great camera for the price. I'm not, I'm not taking that away from the GoPro 8 at all. I'm just saying that the GoPro 7, especially now that it's cheaper, is probably a little bit of a, I would say, a better deal. But that's my little spiel on the uh, GoPro Hero 8. If you guys want to get one of these cameras and you have the money for it, I wouldn't I wouldn't steer you the other way. Like it's still a great camera. I am looking forward to putting a lot more GoPro footage in the vlog again because like I said earlier, it's been a little bit since we've had GoPro footage and this was something that I made my channel on. So this will be good. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on Friday. But until then, I'm out. Later.